Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 6 of Spyro Season of Flame, or I guess Spyro 2 Season of Flame. I always forget that it's technically number 2, because as a kid I never played Season of Ice. Season of 2, or Season of 2. Season of Flame, though, is just honestly way better, because when I did finally play it, I realized that it was really, really, really good compared to Season of Ice. And just, uh... Anyways, we're going to Candy Lane. I think we can 100% this level. I think this one requires Ice Breath. Well, let's see. They'll get you, huh? They captured every single one of you. Oh yeah, this one has one of the most annoying mini games in existence. So to free them, you just gotta charge them and boom. Oh god, what's going hee 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 hee? That sounds oddly familiar to the uh, Sheila levels, but you know, oh. Well, we found the chest. It's over on a little island across Chocolate River. Oh yeah, we do need ice breath. Oh, that's actually a cool sound effect. I like that. It's actually a decent one, that's for sure. Frisbee dudes. That dropped a single red gem. Nice. I love when enemies drop me garbage. I and a scientist guy? Why do these vases always have red gems in them? What was with, like, non-main series Spyro Gems always putting low gem quality gem- or gem count gems in the vases? Quit. And kaboom, you're free. Why is it not- oh, okay, there we go. There's four of those little munchkins left. Oh yeah, they just shoot goop out. Hey, and we found a firefly. We have Twilight, everyone's favorite movie. Now those guys have like a really long range to their um to their frisbee throw, because that guy was like a mile away from where we actually seen the frisbee you know, hit. Whoa, I almost ran into the chocolate. I just don't want to miss anything, you know? You dig? Is this the way I came from? Oh okay, yeah, this is the way I came from. Like I said, don't wanna miss anything. The less you miss the better. Oh god, he's gonna... She's all over everyone. Stop it, man. Go away with that green goop of yours. Alright. Hey, another firefly. This time we have... Star. And these scientist dudes sound so tough. They're like, Whoa. I am super evil scientist guy number 10. Wait, when did I take damage? I'm so confused to when I actually took that, that damage, you know? Oh, there's the checkpoint. We just got the checkpoint now? Oh boy, this level's a doozy. Alright, we're just checking to make sure we got everything down here, that's for sure. I think we did. I don't think we missed anything down on this ground level, so we can continue on. Oh yeah, that was just the loop around. My foot's falling asleep from sitting on it, because, uh... Yay. Oh my god, the, 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 the 3D platforming thingy in this is so obnoxious sometimes. We have Cal. I assume that's like Calvin's, right? That's the whole joke there. Ooh, we got gems over here. Ooh, double frisbers. Alright, that should be, what, two left, I think? Oh, it's only one left. Oh, that, I knew that was gonna hit me at some point. Hey, there's the key! Like I said, I don't remember if... When you die with a key, if you keep the key or not in this game. I know in some previous Spyro games you didn't keep the keys, so... Ooh. Pretty sure he should've hit me there, but he never did. I'm just gonna switch... Ow, that's no... These freaking frisbees, man. Oh my lord. Oh, and there's the last one of you. Yeah, let's go talk to that elf. Are these like the Keebler elves? I'm pretty sure these are like the Keebler elves. 
but I could really use some health now. That frisbee throwing turd nugget. Oh god, another one. I hear him. He's out for blood. Oh my god, he fell over the edge. That is a not fair game. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't the last one of that either. Can that firefly come back? Or is he forever trapped down there? I think he's forever trapped down there, right? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go down here. And we got Shimmer. I, s I swear to God, we've already had Shimmer before. Like, actually, you know what? We have the key, and we have... Um... And we have all that, so we should be able to go over and talk to you. Thanks for rescuing them. And it's hot, yeah I know, it's a firefly dude. Fireflies aren't actually hot though. Flash. Alright. Which then means that we need to go down this way. Which way is it where the, um... I thought the chest was down that way. Is this level just backwards now or something? I could have sworn that... That the chest was somewhere over... God, I don't care about giving them truth. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Let's open up this. I know, and I know for a fact that there is a challenge portal in this level, and I know for a fact that it sucks. I remember it being notoriously difficult as a kid. Don't know if it's difficult as an adult, especially on an emulator, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it's not too bad. One can only hope things aren't too bad in this game. I forgot that we didn't need to run all the way up there, but yeah, we should still have quite a bit to explore to the north, right? Like up here? Well, there's that one. So that's Aurora. That doesn't really fit the whole theme of, um... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. There's one green gem somewhere. Not again. Not now. But this is the challenge. Okay, protect the cake. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So your goal is to defend this little guy from all of these Rhinox that come in huge freaking swarms, by the way. It's not like some of the other Spyro uh, defense missions where, you know, like it's pretty generous. Like, they already stole the cake! I hate this mission so much. Because he creates a solid object, and he pushes you out of the way too, so... I don't know why they'd want to steal the... Are you serious, game? I don't know why... Oh god, he was invisible. I don't know why they steal the cake. Oh wait, you can actually get them before they... spawn on screen. That's interesting. Can you hurry up with the cake already, buddy? Ain't nobody got time for this. Hurry up! Oh boy almighty. Hurry up with the cake! I just got a massive triple kill 96,000 point kill streak there, buddy. Hurry up with the cake! Hurry up, they're coming! Hurry up, buddy! Please, for the love of God, hurry up. You don't need sprinkles! Sir! Oh, thank God! Woo! Oh, it's, it's magic, it keeps flying out of your oven. You're not supposed to cook a bug anyway, dude. Glisten. 
Alright, so we got all the fireflies there, or here, but now we need to find that one last gem, because it's clearly just one green gem that we're missing. And of course, these levels always have green stuff laying on the ground. Like, like, look at this. There's just, like, green hearts and green puddles and green dinosaur butts and stuff like that, you know? Oh, never mind. There's the gem. All right on. And then we're at the end of the level. So now we can leave and go on to another level. So there we go. We have Candy Lane. All done. I think we can do Watertopia, I think, as a level that we can 100%. I'm not entirely sure. Keep forgetting, this game doesn't have 400 gems per level. It's only 300. Not doing bad, though. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a level up top, right? I think it's a Sheila level. Yeah. Lunar Ledges. A thousand gems to get in here? That's ridiculous. We only get 300 per level, game. Yay, spend a thousand gems to go to a 300 gem level. For, what, one firefly? Yeesh. Landing pads? Why, like, why are we on a moon anyway? Also, why do they have cheese? Oh god, yeah. Chill levels, while not terrible, do kind of lack in creativity. And why there's so many landing pads here is beyond me. Okay, they kind of hit like in four squares around them, so be careful. I don't know which way we're actually supposed to go, because these levels do kind of become a maze as time goes on. I think this is the way we don't need to go, so I, th I think I kind of want to go this way, at least I hope. How do I get to that one? Oh, I thought the, the, maybe the mat was an indicator, but for some reason it wasn't. Yeah, these guys will try and home in on your location, so be careful. I don't like them very much. Or is this the way we're supposed to go? Maybe this is the way we're supposed to go. I guess maybe we're supposed to go back the other way. Oh my lord. I, th like I said, you're probably gonna get lost a few times in these levels. At least the music here is decent. And the- the- this- oh, yeah, that was a dead end, okay. And then there's gems over there. Okay, that looks like back this way. How many gems do we have? Alright, so it looks like we're gonna get to exactly 2300. I thought we were at 3000 before we started this level. This is technically the second Sheila level for this world. There's two. I believe the last one in the entire game is a volcano. I think the last world only has one Sheila and one Agent 9 level. Oh yeah, we can't actually hop up there. Wait, how do I get up there? I guess I gotta keep going, eh? And avoid these- Why was that gem sound effect so delayed? The gem sound effects on- uh, Oh god, you shot more times than I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, but thanks, dude. Yeah, these are those gems that we had seen earlier. Man, we're getting some juicy gem count, though. Looks like we can go up, or we can go down here for some money. Okay, that money for health we can't get to just yet. Wait, where does this guy even hit? I don't think he actually hits anything. I think it's the one up top here that does. <sighs> yeah, you can smush enemies, by the way, but it takes a while for their gems to pop up. That was weird. The enemies were like stacked on top of one another. Alright, and then we can pound this rock. Or I guess landing pad to destroy the rocks. Boom, dead meat. Can you actually kill the enemy, please? Smush attack! Wait, what's making that weird sound effect? That. Pretty sure that's the enemies from um, Agent 9's level making those sound effects. Wait, that's the last landing pad, and we still have lots of gems left to get. 
And there we go. That. Oh, never mind. Let's see if we can get him to blow himself up. Oh, that guy. What makes him look tough, man? We need to get up to his level, though. Oh, never mind. We did actually cause them to hurt himself. That was weird. Oh well. Never mind. There's the last landing pad. I don't even know where the. Ch I don't even know if there are checkpoints in this level. Hey, there's the firefly man. And we got Kindle. Yay for Kindle. Oh god, there's so many pathways to go still. Okay, what are the. What are those enemies doing? How am I supposed to get to them if they're stacked on top of one another like that? Kill each other. Please. Come on, kill yourself too, please. God, those enemies are annoying to deal with. I'd just like some health, please, game. Wait. Are there more than 300 gems here? There are! Oh, some of them have 400 and some of them have 300, so it is kinda random. I thought Candy Cane Lane only had a few gems. Uh, enemy attacks. Inbound. Ugh. And you're dead meat. Thank you for coming out to play, Mr. Doofus. Ugh. And you should be the last of my gems, right? Alright. Boom. And there we go, that's the last of the gems. Not too bad. Now we can just leave the level. That was that was a pretty good level, not gonna lie. Almost died, but never did. There we go, that's another 400 gems. So, okay, it was a thousand for 400, so we didn't really make anything, that's for sure. We're still down 600 gems, but a level 100% complete out of the way. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I will see you guys all next time as we push our way through the Celestial Plains. Bye bye